Me and Cappy doing all right. Come on now, boy. Right. Okay. <clears throat> did I come over here and take care of Al's situation? I did not. Let's, let's do that. It's due to ride shortly. Prepare to board. <laughs> How am I feeling? I'm feeling okay. How's your day been going, Mom? Excuse me, partner. Good morning. Got any idea what time it is? I can't say. Winston didn't like that. Sorry, Winston. What? Yeah. He was displeased. Hey, what's up, Lemon Cake? It's only noon. Yeah. We're all right then. Where are you, Al? Ooh, that's deeper than I thought. On you, you know. Oh, 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 Mr. Morgan. How are you? Well, sir. What are you working on? Do you know anything about alligators? Only the basics. Avoid them wherever possible. <laughs> well, did you know that in the last 50 years, we've killed 90%? You say that like it makes you sad. They're beautiful creatures. <laughs> Let's see how you speak when one of them's got you in a death row. 
Yes, I will make some creature a very happy lunch one of these days. Let's try and avoid that from happening today, hmm? Well, you stay there, you'll get a great shot, then you'll get eaten. <sighs> what a way to go. Why don't we take this boat out, and I'll protect you. Come on, get in the boat, he'll be fine. Well, if you really think that's necessary. You carry on shooting from that bank, you're gonna wish them wolves had eaten you. Really? Yes. <laughs> Winston, you might want to, like, skedaddle. Ten percent have survived. They're the nasty ones. All right, then. Um, oh, I saw a movement to the north of us. Oh, and to the west. Oh, and to the northwest, there. That, that's probably where we should look. Let's go look, then. When we find one, line me up so I can get the shot. I'll try. Don't get too close. You'll scare them away. Close, but not too close. Got it. In the cane break. That's a likely spot for one. Take us around the island until we see something. Okay. Last year, they brought 10,000 skins out of the swamps of Lemoyne alone. There, in the channel. You see its head? Poking up there. Line us up to it. Closer now. Closer. Excellent. Beast in repose. All as calm as the predator lurks. All right, now. The other spots were northwest and northeast of here. You know, in the season, there are more alligator hunters down here than... than... alligators. Maybe you can take a photograph of one of them, then. Very droll. There was even a tour company that let excursionists shoot from the deck of a paddle steamer, chugged up the waterways and churned whole bayous into mud. Thankfully, the state legislator put a stop. A paddle steamer, huh? Now, why didn't we think of that? Run if I hear banjo music. Oh, look! On that little beach. Boars! If we're in luck, an alligator won't be far away. Saving alligators, but you don't mind that pork chop getting butchered. Pork chop isn't in danger of extinction. This is history making, truly. Nature, in all its glory and cruelty. Could have been you if you stayed on that bank where I found you. Don't! Last spot was on the west of here. 17 feet, 19 feet, 21 feet with a five foot head. What? They found some big bulls in these parts. Surely they did. There's 20 foot gators here, and us two idiots are sitting in a 12 foot skiff? No. This is in the 70s, 80s. All the really big gators have been hunted out and killed. More the shame, I say. It's terrible. It ain't shame to this rowing fool who values his arms being attached to his body. It's them or us. Especially with the big ones. Uh, I don't know if I can get through that. Oh, I see it. On the actual island. Ah, <laughs> yes. Yes, there. Oh, no, he's gone. Ah! Can you stop the boat just there, off the island? Sure. But we stop too long. Locals are gonna start getting curious. Just, just there, please. So, so I'm facing the landmass. Right. Now look, there's an alligator back in those palms. Could you... Could you run in there and coax him out? Coax him? Please, he's quite something. If I could take that fellow's likeness, it might... It might just save him from the taxidermist. Well, that's the spirit. Out you go, then. Oh. Get, him and, uh, get him to notice you and then turn tail and run. I don't like this. Not one bit. I see him. Come on, you big dozy lizard. Rouse yourself. Oh, he's awake. No, 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 no. Come on, Gator. Quick, jump in the boat. In, 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 in. Got him. What a 
a specimen. Nearly got him eating me. I don't know what I'd do without you, sir. I really don't. We can congratulate ourselves on a job well done, Mr. Morgan. Take us back where we began. Anyway, I hope you got something worth printing. Oh, surely. The nation will see these beautiful beasts for what they are. Killing machines? <laughs> no. Oh, well, yes. Maybe that's not a bad thing. This is America, after all. We hold a love for killers that borders on macabre. Loving killers is part of our makeup. Maybe. Maybe. But usually we wait until after they're dead. Well, I hope we've changed. Me too. Ah, yes. Doctor here. Just pull up to the bank. That should do it. Yes. These pictures you're taking. Yes. They're gonna be any good. Oh, I certainly hope so. Though I doubt it. The subject is magnificent. The backdrop, jaw-dropping. But the agent of beauty is a talentless fool. Although maybe I'll strike a few lucky shots. You sure do make me laugh that way you talk about yourself, Mr. Mason. Well, I'm good for laughing at, if nothing else. I didn't mean it like that. I know. Still, I feel such a fool around you, sir. Don't worry about it. Oh. I foresaw many an ignominious future for myself, but never damsel in distress. Well, uh, good luck, Mr. Mason. Thank you, and to you too, sir. Try and stay out of trouble. I shall certainly try. All right. Time to go, boy. Do I need anything over in this area? There's gators. But I got the gator. I got the gator skin I needed. I need snake skins. Uh, maybe a iguana or a beaver, perhaps? In this area? You'd think beavers would be near, like, um, small lakes, ponds, large ponds. Would make sense. What we got over here? There's a frog. Do I need any piggies? Four. Oh, wow. I need like seven boar hides. Crap. Need a lot of ore. There we go. Wild boar. Rifle or a bow with poison arrows. Okay. Gator. What's this? Whoa, what is this town? Saint Denis. Uh huh. What is that? That's a rabbit.
Sorry. Man, look at this place. Saint Denis in the Bayou. Wow, this place looks fancy. You wanted money, bro. Did you Anything almost hit my horse? Anyone can give me, please help me. Please, you, yeah, please, coin, please, please, coin. Oh, this guy. Won't you lend a coin to a fella in need? Go get yourself something to eat. New batch of shine just hit down. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. Hey. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Hey, Groveling here in the dirt. Uh. They got like cobblestone roads and everything? Holy crap. Hey partner. Bye. Got street cars? Wait, that said Cornwall Transport. That's like the 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 Phidias Cornwall or whatever that guy's name is. The guy whose train we robbed and probably wants us dead now. I'm sorry. I head over here. Right there. Hello, mister. Hello. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. Well, you're not here to turn yourself in, so I conclude you're a bounty hunter. May I direct you to the poster on the wall there? Okay. What's all this about? Hundred dollar reward. Capture dead or alive. Lindsay Wofford, the Raiders commander. You going after Lindsay Wofford? I might be. Or I might just want to hang his poster up on my wall. Yeah, they're a bad lot, the Lamont Raiders. Stupid fellas won't leave good enough alone. One of these days, the government's gonna get sick of private militias, you know. One of these days, the government's gonna get sick of all of us. Don't tell them I said that. All right. Make sure be done. 
Well, that guy sounds like he'll be a difficult catch. Because he's probably not going to be away on his lonesome. He's probably going to have some of his buddies with him. Hello. Why are you doing this? Have you got something to say to me? Alright. What else have we got around here? Holy God. There's another fence over there. Somebody to meet there. Go check that out. There's a big little city going on here. For a minute of your time All right. can I tell you a little about what we're doing here sure less than a minute I promise uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall a shelter for homeless veterans and their families can you help a donation of $20 would put us well on our way Twenty dollars ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. Hello. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Hmm. All right. Let's go, boy. Alright, so let's take a look around here. I want to come down... Well, I don't want to... I'll tell you what, we'll get rid of that then. Let's go over to the fence, because I want to know where the fence is. Hello, how are you today? Yeah, get out of the road. I don't know what that icon is. Like a camera, maybe? OK. 
Okay. Normal stuff, I guess. He doesn't seem too talkative, does he? Alright. Well, good talking to you. Hello. I have to do so many jobs for the Guaylon. Washing, sewing, even making potions. So, hello? What do you need? That's how it goes. Matching sets of clothes made right here. Excuse me, sir. You have a good night now. Hey, okay. a trapper. Hey, so so God, no! Buy it herself. Clumsy yeah. fool. I know it. Right, let's see. Alright, we'll sell that snake skin. Stringy meat, no. What's up, Baka? Apart from a wolf, can be sold. So I guess that means I can no longer use it for other things. Used in crafting. Alligator tooth can be sold. So it doesn't say used in crafting, so I'm gonna assume we don't need it. If we do need it, I can just go get another one. It's not the end of the world. Been a pleasure doing business with you. Nothing quite like wearing your best day's work. So good. What do these do? I don't know. Ever hear of Parati? Big old bear, big, scarred head to foot. Yeah, dozens of trappers up in the grizzly. All right, so. You know what's cool is there's so much stuff south of this still. Like, this looks awesome and everything. There's just... There's more. It's crazy. Uh, I don't think the gun shop is going to have anything special. I, I honestly don't think any of these places will have anything special. I think it's just, like, a bigger city, you know? No bridge south of here? There is a bridge south of here. Alaga Hall? What is that? Let's head there first. Thanks, Mr. Looking to do a little shopping? Move! Oh, no. It's two in the morning, and I still get Good evening. Why are you going that way? Okay, okay, enough. You should be. You see this one here? Got something to say? Oh wait, I'm sorry. Are you talking to me? He doesn't know who we are, huh? Private conversation. Move it. Whoa! All right, just passing on through. Go on then. Whoa! We scared him off. Those guys think they're tough assholes or something. Funny. Welcome. Nice to see you. Fine cut tobacco products against the far wall. Next Here to the we crackers. go. Okay. Always looking for a supply. So 
salted venison. Air pomade, I don't need that. Now, let me just look in here. What do you got for sale? Canned food, fresh food, dry goods, liquor, and tobacco. Uh, ammo? Hunting and fishing, wait a second. Why is a coffee percolator under hunting and fishing? I'd wager you spend a fair amount of time out of doors. All right, well, never mind. Okay, well, if you change your mind. Thanks. Scoop! Oh, no, no! Wait. Let's get. I press the wrong button. I'm sorry, Winston. I'll sleep well tonight. What's wrong with you? Whoa. Honestly, that's pretty impressive. Atlantic Electric. Hello? This Lemoyne air is free for you. Easy, easy. Yeah. Not a smart move to travel alone in these parts, especially looking like you. <sighs> you threatening me, you piss ant. Stupid bastard's got a problem with authority. <laughs> I guess I was told. <laughs> Brushy, brushy. There, boy. What? Yeah. Like that guy talking smack. So, Caliga Hall apparently is like the place of these jerks. All right, let us. Who is this? Abigail. Let's go check in with Abigail. Whatever's going on over there.
hearing some weird sounds. Two thirty in the morning. Wondering why the streets were dead. Time for my dentist appointment. through here easy there i'm trying to get these supplies to the federal building it's on the knee federal ain't got no authority here through, boy we just looking for we'll cargo taking here. Them. good for the citizens of lemoyne you jesus christ <laughs> glad i weren't the target thank you for your help Shame what they're doing to folk. I'm sick of this shit. Free money. Yeah. It's free money. Okay there. Not. Did I see any piggies? Any hey, piggy?
I'll bore three star. Doesn't look like I need the carcass though. Just the pelt. Good. Oh, that's not what I wanted. One star, another three star. All right, so that's two board car, uh, two board cups. Oh boy, nearly done. How many more do I need? Like four or five? Four more. Okay, Phil. Oh, well, it's at camp anyway. Perfect. Dead animal there. Probably got hit by the train. How's it been? I like that. Well, this animal's dead. Looks like it got hit by a train. Continues to drop to like ride on the tracks. Camp funds three dollars and ninety. Good. 
these black dots? Like stuff I can pick up. Pick up a bucket. Pop up the water in the wash bin. Oh, it's daily chores. Oh. Me too, Arthur. You getting crazy, Dutch? I need to confess. That's a business I know nothing about, Reverend. Uh, that's between you and God. Sometimes use a slug of whiskey in this. Maybe after lunch, eh? Hey? That's a feeling I can relate to. Hi, Arthur. Come here, man. Morning, Arthur. Morning. Haven't received anything from you in a while, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I hear you. Many thanks. Pork loin. Stringy meat. That's all I got for you. This should be some real good eating. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Here we are. Another day older. Oh, Mr. Morgan. I'm definitely not I've jotted down a few things that I think could be uh, nice additions around here. Four skin table cover for my own table. Oh, wait. Four skin rug. He needs four. Jeez. Elk antlers. I need an elk pelt, badger. Need a beaver pelt for this one. All right. This camp could do with a few improvements. Why don't you take a look at my ideas? Hey, Valkyrie, how are you? Hey, Molly. Oh, I'm hanging in there. Doing some hunting. Shot a couple piggies earlier. They deserved it. I'm a good cowboy. Okay. Let's talk to what Abigail? Is that her name? What is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So the mom is hire is asking me to play with her son. Interesting. And awkward. 
Hey kid, you want to go shooting rabbits? I don't know. How old is this kid anyway? 22. Could be six. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. It's about time that you started to earn your cake. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. Mount your horse. I don't. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. I don't have a fishing pole, so I'm glad he does. This is a tutorial to teach how to fish. Probably. First time the game's ever had me fish. All right, hold on tight. So where are we going? Just down to the river near here. You shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Though your mama might disagree. And a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. <gasps> right fast, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you see that deer? All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Drop the kid <clears throat> like a sack of potatoes. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. You show me where, Uncle Arthur. I don't know. Just by the water there? You mean? Items, and it's here. Okay, apparently I have a fishing rod now. Where's your pole, Uncle Arthur? Now first, we need some bait. Fishing. Cheese bait. Bread. Corn. I guess we're going cheese. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Smellier the better. Now. Cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it. Good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. I think you've got a bite. Look. Ah, too slow there. Uncle Arthur. You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur. There, got him. I see, I see. See him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, seems like he's taking a rest now. 
I'm gonna try reeling them in nice and steady. This is a great fishing spot. Don't jinx it, kid. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. Okay. See that cast, Jack? Got one, Jack. Got a stick at things, Jack. I know. Oh, that's a big old fish. This one's a smallmouth bass. Not bad. Well, keep that one. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. I know. Boring as hell. But then. Something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait. And try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Hmm. Hey, look at this. And what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton? Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard... Guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen, this is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh... Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> You enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid, while you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. <laughs> this 
getting late, Jack. Your mother will be worried. Let's head back. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because... Well... Because those are disagreeable men. And I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. And I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, uh, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Well, that sounds problematic. Come on! All of you! We're free! Hmm. Alright, well, we have got... John and Micah. What is this? Oh, that's right, Lindsay Wofford. Is he over here? Interesting. That doesn't seem near a large area, so go check it out. <clears throat> And we are free. So Make myself a hundred bucks too. Life is good. Oh, life is good. Do you hear that, Mr. Come on now, boy. 